Gemini, mm mm, Gemini, mm mm, Gemini, mm mm. <laughs> Let's go two more rounds. Gemini, mm mm, Gemini, mm mm. Welcome back, Gemini, to the channel here. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you for tuning the freak in. So let's see who the freak, why the freak, okay? Who, what, when, where, and how? <laughs> uh, let's see what is coming towards you in love. This is a bonus all sign reading. So I'm going to be going from Aries to uh, Pisces at the end of this reading to see what channel messages they have for you. And after that, I will be doing the overall channel messages for this reading. You can find the timestamps uh, down below in the comment section or in the description section if the comments happen to be turned off. Okay. All right. So let's see what we got. Come into the Gemini. What is coming to Gemini in love? Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, you have more to learn, and then you have beginnings. So some freak probably wants to have a beginning with you, but maybe this person has more to learn, okay? Like they need to grow up. <laughs> grow the freak up, okay? <laughs> we did see in your last reading that somebody kind of needed to kind of grow up a little bit, so it makes sense. All right, Gemini. What is coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. Tell me more for Gemini in love. What's coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. I think you're kind of aggravated with this person, Gemini. What is coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. Gemini. Ooh. Okay. Four of Wands, Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. Uh, we have the Five of Cups, the Two of Cups. What's coming to Gemini in love? So from what I'm seeing here, Gemini, um, you may have been dealing with someone who's playing a lot of mind games, okay? Tell me more. What's coming to Gemini in love? This freak was playing mind games. You have the Queen of Cups. But I feel like you've always wanted some type of opportunity with this freak. But at the same time, <laughs> I mean, the freak has to get it together. Maybe, like I said, your last reading did show somebody pretty immature or someone who just kind of needed to just grow the freak up, guys, okay? You could be connected to a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a Cancer here, Pisces, Scorpio. Strong fire, strong water. Um, this could be Moon Rising or Venus, Gemini, but... I see that this person is going to try to reunite with you with the four of wands, okay? Um, you and this person could definitely have some type of soulmate connection. It's possible. You do have the two of cups here, Jam. Uh, but, you know, this freak is feeling pretty sorry right now, okay? Maybe you feel like this is a missed opportunity with this person, okay? Or this person basically feels like you're the one that got away. <laughs> In another life, Gemini will be my boo. Okay, period. <laughs> this is what the freak this person thinks. Um, so they're going to give it another shot here. They don't want to give up on this. I'm getting a strong energy that someone doesn't want to give up, even though they're frustrated, they're exhausted, they're annoyed with whatever the situation is. It's a general reading. I don't know what everyone's particular situation is. But I'm just giving an overall summary of what the freak I'm seeing here. Um, so remember, if you are watching for Gemini, this could be playing out from your perspective okay guys so yeah this is what they're gonna try to do they want to have a talk with you here Jim. they want to kind of open up a little bit here maybe express their feelings to you a little bit um to let you know why they're being such a freak like <laughs> and basically that's what they want to do Jim. give me more information what's coming to gemini in love gemini so it's almost like this is someone who is going to try to convince you to deal with them again, Gemini, okay? Um, I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's a little bit moody, okay? I'm kind of getting Cancerian energy here. Um, like this person kind of, it's like one minute they don't want the cup, next minute they want the cup. Okay, which one do you want? Do you want the cup or not? This cup is about to go on clearance, okay? Because <laughs> they can't sell. They can't sell the cup. It's, the cup's not selling, guys, okay? So basically, um, yeah, maybe you feel like this person's very back and forth. They're up, they're down, they're 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 in, they're out. They guess, they're no. What's coming to Gemini in this love situation? So now this person's like, oh, you know what? Let me get over myself and let me connect with Gemini. Okay, they're about to connect with you, 
and I feel like it's not just connecting with you, but they're really sitting here. They're really going to try to tell you, you know, they're going to try to open up to you about what their deal is, guys. Some of them, maybe they're having financial problems. You do have the five of pentacles here. Um, or, you know, this person is just going through some difficulties in their life. Okay. Or this person could have some deep seated issues, um, probably some abandonment issues. So they tend to kind of, you know, maybe self-sabotage a little bit here. What else for Gemini in this love situation? What's coming? Judgment reverse. So it could be a Scorpio, but there's something about the past that needs to be talked about, that needs to be discussed. That way this is this can be this can move forward, okay? Because if the door to the past is still open and all of the issues of the past, well, what do you think is gonna happen, right? But I think this person is definitely trying to get some stability within their relationship with you or within their connection. They're going to try to be more stable with you um, is kind of what I'm getting here. Okay. Gemini, please listen, boo-boo. My whole life has changed, Gemini, since you came in. I knew back then you were that special one. Gemini, I'm so in love. So deep in love, Gemini made the freak life complete. <laughs> All right, what else for Gemini this love situation? What else we got? So we got the Eight of Cups reverse. So even if this freak walked away, they still have feelings for you. They still love the Gemini. And they are returning if they walked away. Some of them, maybe they needed to see the grass was not greener. Okay. So it's up to you, Gemini, what you're going to do with this freak, but this is what they want. I feel like this is someone who kind of wants to fight for their connection with you now, okay? Uh, it's like, they're like, oh, no, 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 I want this now. So they're going to try to prove it to you here. Maybe this is someone that you blocked, or maybe they tend to just kind of push you away and pull you back in. I'm just like, what the freak is wrong with this person? But it could be stemming from some type of old wounds. Like, uh, I don't know, guys. Gemini, what else? So then we have the high priestess. I don't know if this freak was giving you the silent treatment, but the silence is coming to an end. They're about to break the silence, Gemini, okay? If there is silence between you two. Ooh, hold on. What else is coming to Gemini in this love situation? Gemini in love. What is coming to Gemini in love? Gemini. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups. So this is someone I really strongly feel like they're about to break the silence or someone's about to make the first move, okay? Because one minute they're moody, next minute, oh, who knows, okay? But the Ace of Cups is here. So they, they want a new love beginning with the Gemini. Maybe they want a chance to do things differently, Gemini, because beginnings are here, more to learn. So this freak maybe learned their lesson. I feel like you probably walked away from this person because you needed to walk away to show this freak what, what it is and what it ain't, okay? <laughs> we have declaration of love. So they could be coming in finally expressing feelings to you here. We have a fluttering heart. So this freak, you know, they have butterflies. You can't, look, you cannot deny that you have butterflies for the Gemini, okay? God, leave. If you're feeling the kid, just say that. And then you have mind games. So this freak was playing a lot of mind games with you, Gemini. And basically, I mean... They was just really playing with themselves. Don't play with Gemini. Play with yourself. All right? <laughs> play with your shelf. Anything else for the Gemini? Anything else that we need to see? Ace of Pentacles. So, like I said, this is someone who's making a new offer. You have the Ace of Cups, Ace of Coins. You know, they 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 want to they 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 want to fix the offer. Maybe the offer before was not good enough for you. So now they're like, okay, well, you know what? Let me go back, go back in the back, and let me fix this offer. Let me fix my, get my mind right, and make the right offer here. <laughs> Gemini ain't gonna take me with that BS offer, okay? What else for Gemini in this love situation? What else do we need to see? Oh, okay. Ace of Cups. I mean, we have Ace of Pentacles. Ace, this is someone who's offering a new beginning in love. They want to do things differently. I'm hearing that this freak wants to love you better for those of you in relationships. Maybe your partner wasn't very, like, understanding or, you know, emotionally available or open with you for X, Y, Z reason. But stability is about to happen in this connection. Wow. That's Gucci. Gucci, Gucci. Gucci. All right, guys. Well, I guess let's go ahead and get started on these channel messages. So 
So overall energy of this reading, guys, you got some freak who's coming back here. And I think it is going to make you happy. This is a wish fulfillment for you for this person to kind of, you know, come correct here and, uh, you know, have this, this, this conversation with you. This conversation is probably going to, you know, change quite a bit for the Gemini here with this freak. But don't get me wrong. If you don't want them, you don't want them. Okay. <laughs> so if you don't want that freak. All right. So if you're connected to an Aries. All right. Gemini. What does Aries want to say to Gemini? What does Aries want to say to Gemini? Oh, okay. Well, look at that. So this Aries says that they're about to pursue you, okay? I can love you better. See, I knew it. They, someone wants to love you better. This Aries wants to do things better, okay? You have, I chose the wrong person. Some of you maybe just freaked out the grass is greener. They chose someone else. But that part is not for all of you, so don't panic. I want to give you the word, but I'm struggling with finances, okay? I did mention finances in this reading. I plan to try to win you back, but I need you to be patient with me. So you have missing you is driving me insane. Let's keep things casual. So maybe this, you know, Aries thought that they can keep things casual with you, but now they don't want to, okay? I've been so hurt in my life that I built a wall and pushed others away. And you have to settle down together. All right, guys. Oop, moving on. Moving on. If you're connected to... Uh, you know what? I can't even like... Hmm. All right, you know what? F it. All right, so if you're connected to a Taurus... Let's see. Taurus to, to Gemini. So this Taurus wants to start all over. Some of them, maybe they chose the wrong person. So this Taurus says that they have plans to propose to you or this is, you know, what they want to work towards. Commitment. They wish they told you their true feelings. You have spiteful, jealous, hating. I don't know what that's about, guys. <laughs> so this Taurus wants to change their ways for you. They're never moving on from you. You'll hear from me soon. I regret my poor decisions. I was wrong. I was immature. All right. So this Taurus is basically pretty cognizant of what the hell they did. <laughs> now they want to just start all over. All right. So what else do we need to see? Gemini dealing with a Gemini. Gemini dealing with a Gemini. Okay. So this Gemini says you don't know what your love does. Yeah, moving away soon. Hmm. I'll make it all up. I'm calling, texting from fake numbers, especially if you block this freak. I want to get back together, Gemini to Gemini. They're not you, so nobody is you. I love you so much, aw, Gemini to Gemini. I'm so mesmerized by your beauty, your good looks, you're my blessing. Some of them are repaying major karma for basically, you don't ever go against a Gemini, I'm going to so learn the hard way. All right, so for those of you dealing with a Cancer, what does Cancer want to say to Gemini? What does Cancer want to say to Gemini? Cancer to Gemini. Look, okay. Cancer to Gemini. So you're always in this Cancer's dreams. I want to give you the world, but I'm struggling with finances. I thought I was doing the right thing by pushing your love away, but I crave it so badly. So this cancer probably definitely pushed you the freak away. Um, I'm being stubborn. My life is a disaster. <laughs> but they know you're very special. You're unique to them. Cancer to Gemini. I watch your every move. You're the first thing on this cancer's mind in the morning. So this cancer is planning to wine and dine you, do something sweet with you. Okay, drug dealer came out at the bottom, so I don't know. <laughs> Risky business. All right, for those of you who are dealing with a Leo, let's see, Leo to uh, Gemini. Leo to Gemini. This Leo says that they refuse to see you with anyone else. They watch your every move. I'm bored in our relationship. So for some of you, maybe they left you because they were bored, okay? They wanted to play the field. But now, you know, they're seeing that they have more to learn, okay? 
Now they're like, okay, Gemini is the only one for me. Left you before you can leave me. So some of you, this freak could have abandonment issues, okay? You have drug dealer. Leo to Gemini. Dying for another chance. And what do you even see in me? Hmm, that's interesting. All right. Let's see what this Virgo wants to tell you if you're dealing with a Virgo. Virgo to Gemini. I'll never find a love like yours, so they know that. I watch your every move. What's up with everyone watching Gem? Okay, so maybe this Virgo wasn't ready to change, but now they want to start all over. You have not man, woman enough, so this Virgo is not man or woman enough, okay? I'll do whatever it takes to show you that my love is sincere. So this Virgo could be crying over you. Virgo to Gemini. It's all up front. Maybe they've been putting up on front, acting unbothered, but they are actually very bothered. Never doubt my love for you. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you did not just fall. Come here, boo. No, you didn't, boo. All right. All right. So, for those of you that are dealing with a Libra, Libra to Gemini. Libra to Gemini. So, maybe this Libra chose the wrong person or they chose to stay with the wrong person or something, okay? Libra to Gemini. What do we have? Oh, my Apple Watch is dying. Dang it. Libra to Gemini. This Libra wants to live together or come back home. They have plans to propose to you. Libra to Gemini. So maybe this Libra needed time to heal or they know, they know you needed some time to heal. Only one for me. I'm kind of hearing that this Libra may have chose the wrong person and that person screwed them up. And now they're like, damn. Because Libra says you're special to them. Maybe there was baby daddy, baby mama drama here. And maybe there was some childhood trauma. Maybe someone needed to heal from some childhood traumas. Okay. All right. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, the Scorpio says that they've been hiding their true feelings from you. Scorpio to Gemini. Ooh, but they say pick up when I call. So maybe you think the Scorpio is a narcissist or a freak because basically they just play a lot of games with you, okay? You probably are. <laughs> but they say they're not you. Scorpio to Gemini. Afraid of you hurting me? You have health issues. Someone here could be battling health issues. But now the Scorpio wants to tell you how they feel about you. And if they need to leave someone else, they do plan to do that. Okay. All right. So if you're connected to a Sagittarius, what does Sagittarius want to tell their Gemini right now? So maybe this Sag is only here for a good time only. You have divine timing. But this Sag is super obsessed with you. You have water sign. So this Sag can have water in their chart. We have, I moved on. So maybe you've moved on from this Sag. And you just said, fuck it. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But if not, it is what it is. But the Sag does miss you. Maybe the Sag is probably afraid of you just hurting them. So maybe they just wanted to be single. Single man, single woman. Would you accept me for me? You're dealing with a Capricorn. What does Capricorn want to tell Gemini? I want to take care of you. Maybe this Capricorn has been having some problems with their money. They say that they want you so bad. Capricorn to Gemini. So this Capricorn wants you so bad that they can't eat, they can't sleep. Maybe this Capricorn has some trust issues. This could be your divine masculine. So you guys can be twin flames. I love you more than anything. Capricorn to Gemini. What else do we have? Hiding how obsessed with you I am. Plans to leave you. So for some of you, maybe this Capricorn left you. They walked away from you. Okay, maybe because they have trust issues. Right, 
tell you one thing, motherfucker walk away from me, keep walking. All right, if you're connected to an Aquarius, this Aquarius says that they took the easy way out. This Aquarius probably has some childhood trauma. And this Aquarius probably just, they're not very stable mentally because they have some problems, some childhood traumas, okay? What does Aquarius want to tell Gemini? But now they can't eat, they can't sleep, and that's making them mentally unstable. <laughs> okay. I thought I was doing the right thing by pushing your love away, but I crave it so badly. Aquarius to Gemini. So your this Aquarius could be the divine feminine. So this could be your twin flame, okay? Aquarius to Gemini. Let me show you true love. So now they want to show you true love. Maybe this Aquarius is preferring the single life. Aquarius to Gemini. So blank cards, okay? Aquarius to Gemini. Let me get one more card. What do they really want to tell their Gemini? Okay, so they say, don't take my behavior personal. So it's not you, it's them. They're trauma bonded. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> it's not even funny, but I'm not going to forget everything. All right, so we have Pisces. You're connected to a Pisces. Pisces to Gemini. Ooh, so this Pisces could be way older than you. So you're older and basically you're mature. So, all right, interesting. So this Pisces could have an addiction or something wrong with them. But they want to make it up to you. This Pisces is super obsessed with you. Now they're telling you that they won't, they won't hurt you. I bet you won't. Pisces to Gemini. Maybe this Pisces has been afraid to give their heart away. or They know that you are, okay? So now they want to make it up to you. They want to earn your trust and your love. And this Pisces is about to reach out. Changing my ways for you. And then bottom of the deck, we have, I wonder what you think of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you do wonder. What do you think about this Pisces, Gemini? Go ahead. Tell them right now. <laughs> All right. So let's get some overall messages for this reading. All right. Overall, what does this person want to tell their Gemini? I can love you way better. Like I said, someone wants to love you better. Yeah. Moving away soon. You have, it's over. So for some of you, you told them that it's over. And they're like, no, I can love you way better, okay? I miss you. What does this person want to tell Gemini? Someone may have moved on here, okay? We have, I've moved on. All I want is you. I'm realizing who you are to me. I was so blind before. What else does this person want to tell their Gemini, please? Gemini, Gemini. Ooh, okay. Gemini, what else? I'm hearing some of you can have a child with this person. Okay. So this person may be trying to take you on a romantic outing. So this freak says that they were so blind. The grass wasn't greener. <laughs> you make my heart beat fast. So the grass wasn't greener for this freak. They can't move on. Let's stay together. Baby mama, baby daddy drama, and then you have never leaving you again. So when this freak comes back, they plan to not leave you again. Hmm, we'll turn around there, you freak. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. That is the update on this person at this time. That is what is happening. That is what is coming. Love you all so much. Be sure to like this video. Talk to you guys next time.